It's obviously not good to get bad news right at the beginning of the video today, but I have to inform you guys that Voiceber, a boy group under Evermore Entertainment, will officially disband after six years. The label just announced that Voiceber will end their promotions as a group after releasing the upcoming album, the finale. That will definitely be the last farewell that the boy group wanna send to all fans before parting ways, so hopefully you guys will take time to enjoy it. Well, it's super sad to see that the four talented boys of Voiceber finally cannot beat the seven-year curse, even though they have gone through lots of ups and downs together for many lengthy years, even were literally close schoolmates before debuting as a group in 2016. Looks like in the harsh K-pop world with so many outstanding talents, not only idols who of course have to work hard, but the agencies also have to make great efforts to promote their artists if they don't wanna end up with a sad result. Anyway, from the bottom of my heart, wish that all four members will shine up more in their new career paths. Before diving into glad tidings, the next minutes seem to continue with much sadder news about Highlight Yosab. Most recently, the male idol just opened up for the first time that he was physically beaten by lots of bullies during his middle school days. And more shockingly, the reason behind this is just because Yosab got praised by a girl who said that he is so cute. Specifically, in a recent Instagram Live, Yozob spent one hour chatting with fans and recalled a super hard time when he was actually a victim of school bullying. The idol began, it happened when I was in my first year of middle school. While I was heading on my way home after playing soccer with some friends, a big group of boys and girls suddenly surrounded us. They took my friends and me to different places. Then, I was badly beaten, without knowing why. They were terrible to me that I got beaten to a pulp. He continued, I got bruises all over. I don't think I could eat properly because my mouth was swollen. The day after, I went and asked them why they hit me. They told me that one of the female students who was with them saw me playing soccer and said, he is so cute. But the point is that another male student who had a crush on that girl overheard it. That's why they ganged up on me like that. When I heard that, I couldn't believe what a ridiculous reason it was. Yozab added, I was really worried about my friends too, but turning out, they only beat me. For a really long time, I felt like no one would even believe me if I talked about this, because the reason is too ridiculous. After hearing this bitter story, lots of fans couldn't help but feel upset about his past. Yozab is always seen as a positive and open-minded person, so many people got shocked when knowing that he had put up with such a scary thing, but not unburdened himself to anyone until now. Looks like he tries to put on a simile to hide a depressing past, huh? How come they could beat him so badly just because he was so cute? How nonsense it is, right? Well, what's done is done, and it's so relieving that Yozab managed to grow up healthy and even become a well-known K-pop idol now. Okay, let's put sad things aside, and get hyped up with the latest news on Blackpink Lisa. So after recovering from COVID-19, the female idol just took Wevers to personally update her health for the first time, saying that she is completely healthy and nothing hurts. However, the funniest thing about this update is that while Blinks always jokes about Lisa forgetting her Wevers password, it turns out to be true. She admitted that I was logged out, so I was looking for a long time and finally came in. Along with her post, Lisa dropped a photo of herself. Despite covering her face with a tight mask, she is still seen as fresh and happy. Lisa also didn't forget to remind fans to take care of their health, saying that, you're all doing well, right? Why is it cold? I don't want to go outside and only be in bed. We have to wear blink warm. Well, with such freezing weather, it's highly recommended that Lisa and other Blackpink members can go for some fried chicken and watch Snowdrop on Christmas. Before ending the video today, have you heard that SM Town live concert will be held right on January 1, 2022? This rumor stemmed from a spoiler from a mask company, which revealed that their marks will be worn by members of the orchestra and the back dancers during SM Town concert stages. More importantly, the show is expected to be streamed in 186 countries around the world. OMG. So we are gonna witness the fierce battle between SM and Dispatch, huh? Well well well, it must be busy on the first day of New Year. At the moment, 
It's revealed that Espa, SNSD Hyoyeon, and Raiden are part of the lineup, so keep tuned with us to see who else will shine up in the upcoming SM Town live show. That's the news for today. Do like, share and subscribe to KBiz Hub if you don't want to miss the juiciest news next time. Bye-bye.